one antitrypsin deficiency, also called alpha-1 or genetic COPD, is an inherited disorder that is passed on in families and primarily affects the lungs and liver. Alpha-1 symptoms are the same as traditional COPD symptoms, and as a result, alpha-1 can go undetected for years. While there is no cure, there are treatment options that can help people manage their symptoms, making early diagnosis key. Let's meet Dan and his wife, Kathy, as they share their story of Dan's unexpected diagnosis. They're using his experience to advocate and support others. Take a look. The moment that I realized that something was more than just being older, out of shape, was the combination of things that I was more frequently short of breath with what previously would not even have winded me when I would do things like mowing the lawn, um, shoveling snow, and then one day I caught him out there just bent over gasping for breath and trying to, you know, be able to breathe and he just couldn't do it. I was diagnosed with alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency in 2012, just prior to my 60th birthday. I felt fortunate to be diagnosed relatively quickly. Many patients who were finally diagnosed with alpha-1 have gone many, many years thinking they only had COPD before they are diagnosed as also having alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. I think my first reaction to the diagnosis was one of surprise and confusion. I'd been a nurse for over 30 years by then and I'd never heard of this disease. So my next thing was I need to get some research in. I need to find out what this really is. You know, all the questions that go through your head when you hear that your husband has a rare disease. Mine just kind of blown momentarily trying to grasp it. No cure. The emotions of hearing those words for me as a pastor ever so many years and have dealt with, ministered to people who've heard those words, all of a sudden now it's me. Am I going to lean on my faith as I have encouraged others, or am I going to fall apart? And uh, I chose to trust God and just forge ahead. We met with Dr. Charlton Strange, one of the foremost experts in Alpha-1. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency is a genetic disease, often called genetic COPD or alpha-1. Alpha-1 is the most common genetic risk factor for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, in which people have a hard time breathing air out of their lungs. Liver disease is the second most common problem that patients with alpha-1 can have. Alpha-1 is caused by the abnormal variants in the serpent A1 gene. This is a gene that produces the chemical alpha-1 antitrypsin and it does so mostly in the liver. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is the chemical that helps protect our lungs from all sorts of injuries uh, that we all breathe in every day. When you're deficient in alpha-1, that means that we can develop injury to the lung. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is inherited from both parents. Having two abnormal genes is the definition of alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. So at the current time, we do not have a curative treatment for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. There are treatments available like augmentation therapy, as well as preventative measures that may help control your health, such as maintaining a healthy diet and not smoking. After receiving my diagnosis, I began augmentation therapy. Having alpha-1 has changed my life significantly. As far as my career goes, I was in the pastorate for 20 plus years at the time I was diagnosed, I found it more and more difficult to preach my sermons without running out of air and struggling through. As a result of Alpha One, I had to give up that ministry. Leading world health organizations recommend testing for every individual that's been diagnosed with COPD. For treatment-resistant asthma, 
We also recommend testing for individuals that have liver disease of unknown cause. Additionally, we test family members of those who have alpha-1. The screening tests for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency are rather simple. It can be done through a blood test, a cheek swab, or a finger stick prick. You can go to your physician's or healthcare provider's office, or you can test through commercial laboratories. Patients can also screen at home to determine their risk for alpha-1. After a screening test has been been provided that suggests alpha-1, we need to confirm that diagnosis by getting a confirmatory blood test. One of the important things about testing an individual for alpha-1, and we're not just diagnosing a single patient, we're diagnosing a family with this disease. When I learned that alpha-1 was inherited genetically, it became important for us to inform our children and my siblings and, and extended family, the importance of them being tested, the emotions that take you when you realize that not only did you inherit something genetically impacting your life, but that you have the possibility of passing that on to your children. And uh, our kids are very supportive, very understanding. They understood the ramifications of being tested because they were also parents. One of our grandsons was tested and he has alpha-1 just as Dan does. So it is very widespread and we, you just don't know how far it goes until you have the testing done. When Dan was first diagnosed with alpha-1, he worked with uh, a coordinator from AlphaNet who helped us so much to understand the basics. We would have discussions and I could ask questions and so it became a wonderful support. She uh, suggested that we go to a national education conference which was invaluable to us. In this group we had a support network like never before. My journey from pastoral ministry to become an AlphaNet coordinator for me was a natural flow because it was still serving people. And we're passionate about advocating and educating and promoting awareness. Getting tested of whether you have Alpha-1 or not is the first step to dealing with any potential lung or liver diseases that you may develop as an Alpha. Alpha ID at Home is a comprehensive FDA cleared service that detects 14 variants in the serpent A1 gene linked to alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency with at least 99% accuracy. The service also determines your risk for developing lung and or liver disease linked to alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency compared with the general population. Alpha ID at Home offers the kit and lab processing for free and empowers consumers to find out their risk on their own especially if their provider isn't able to test them or they aren't able to get to their provider easily. When you receive your report, regardless of your results, it's important to share your report with your physician. It's important they know that you were tested for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. If you're diagnosed with alpha-1, there are a wealth of community resources. The Alpha-1 Foundation was formed many years ago to empower patients to help find a cure. AlphaNet is a sister organization that is empowered to help people in their disease journey with disease management. It takes a community. You can order a test and test at home. The important part is to get tested. Knowledge is power. And so it's very important that you advocate for yourself and for your family. If you are an alpha, the sooner you know that, the better. If you have COPD or a family member has been diagnosed with Alpha-1, go to copdgenetics.com to order your free Alpha ID at home saliva collection kit. And of course, you can always go to our website, thebouncingact.com. If you want more information, we'll be back right after this.